And that's been happening with a lot of other victims that have been contacting me. <laughs> Just recently today, I've heard from two other victims that, that experienced the same thing that I experienced. They were younger. The drama surrounding T.D. Jake seems to thicken and again, this man is stepping into the spotlight and not as a divine messenger, but as a surprise guest at a hip hop extravaganza. Yes, you heard it right. Picture T.D. Jakes not delivering sermons, but shaking things up at a rapper's twerking party with Diddy in the mix. Well, he still denies everything, but gossip mills churned as rumors swirled about this unlikely congregation of the spiritual and the sinful. In a newly revealed chapter of the disgraced bishop's misfortunes, it may quickly turn out that he's truly guilty and will be heading to jail for his misconduct. Are ready to press charges and they said that they will T.D. Jakes, usually hailed for his spiritual prowess, found himself entangled in a web of controversy. Media storms raged as allegations of arrest dance alongside his once pristine name. Thousands of his followers demanded a clear explanation, but all he could say was, you can stop dragging people and arguing with people and fighting and just log off. There is no show here. But apparently, there are those who are willing to share the deepest secrets of the pastor. It's not news for many folks that his rendezvous with controversy wasn't entirely new. Jakes had long faced criticism for his associations with high net worth individuals deemed shady by the masses. And this time, he's not getting away just by refusing to talk. I didn't come to convince you or nobody. Because I know who I am. Recent revelations from those who suffered from T.D. Jakes' acts and behavior suggest that the preacher might not be the pristine saint his followers believed him to be. Scandal after scandal painted a murkier picture, casting shadows on his once unblemished reputation. As the curtain falls on this saga of spiritual intrigue, one thing remains clear. T.D. Jakes, the boundary breaker, straddles a fine line between the sacred and the scandalous. And since he's so famous and popular, the news about his potential incarceration began to swirl. The tales surrounding Jake started to blur the lines between innocence and allegations. Doubts crept in, questioning the bishop's pristine image as claims against him gained traction. The storm intensified when not one, but two individuals came forward, narrating unsettling encounters with the preacher during their younger years. Just recently today, I've heard from two other victims that so it's just a lot to talk about. Adding to the turmoil, fate intertwined as the preacher's own son found himself entangled in a similar situation that bolstered the credibility of the recent allegations. It seems like the preacher instilled the same morals into his own son and the old proverb about like father like son couldn't be more truthful. I mean, T.D. Jakes, whose church catapulted him into the media's eye, found himself entwined in various unexpected news reports and the old dirty deeds began to surface to bury his pristine image even deeper. One such shocking revelation was about his son-in-law who was engaged in a particularly sick behavior. It looks like the whole family is rotten to its core and it cast a long shadow on the bishop himself who allegedly corrupted the minds of the entire family by his own sick example. And two of the offenders in a shocking turn of events, Cora Jakes, Coleman, the eldest daughter of Bishop T. Jakes, filed for divorce from her husband, Richard Coleman, in 2022. Announcing her split, she didn't give any explanation, writing on her social media. This is a very private and personal matter, and I kindly ask for your prayers as I prioritize myself, and most importantly, my children's well-being at this time. Later, it was found out that Richard was accused of serious misconduct related to his adoptive daughter, which cast shadow on T.D. Jakes. Yes, he is the revered founder of the Potter's House, a significant church in South Dallas. However, here stands his son-in-law, caught in a starkly contrasting scenario, and the talk about T.D. Jakes' own sins began to circle. As everybody knows, oh my God, they're the holy man of God, and they will pick their victims and they groom them. Well, seems like a lot of masks are going to fall off with the recent explosive facts, and the true nature of this man become more clear for many people. As one person commented, T.D. is nothing more than a prosperity spokesman. He gets people jumping around for an hour, and that's that. And another user added, I listened to his preaching once. There was no Jesus and no Holy Spirit, not biblical enough, a weak, non-spirit filled, watered down prosperity gospel. The already shady scenario further escalated when the preacher's son and his son-in-law found himself entangled in an unusual scandal. Allegations against the preacher himself might soon materialize in court as one of his former mentees, Manasseh Jordan, boldly declared in a recent video. They're going to be pressing charges. Jordan claimed that victims of the alleged incidents involving the influential bishop are gearing up to take legal action against him. Remember those claims I mentioned earlier? This is precisely what they pertain to, and they are not coming empty-handed, as they are exposing text messages. Mamasi Jordan, a former mentee of Bishop T.D. D. Jakes, revealed that more victims have stepped forward, echoing his sentiments. It's no secret that Jordan once sought solace in the bishop's guidance, 
However, he seems to have broken free from the clutches of the perceived adversary, now employing his platform to aid others. But I am someone that is speaking truth to help victims that have experienced this to say, we see you. In a video shared by Jordan on December 30th, he disclosed the influx of new victims leveling allegations against Bishop T.D. Jakes. Jordan alleges that the victims he spoke with were purportedly groomed and subjected to unspeakable acts by the bishop. Elsewhere in the video, Jordan detailed the chilling narratives of the victims discussing incidents allegedly carried out by Bishop T.D. JJ's. As he claimed, what are you into? What do you like? You need to tell daddy everything. And so they're using verbosity and they're using this type of goose narrative to try to make you feel comfort, to make you build comfort with their victim. Now, in the age of lies and power play, it's so important to find the light amid this darkness. And learning more about T.D. Jake's associations and his involvement with other criminals, it becomes clear that he will pay more than just with the public backlash. And his freedom is at stake if victims get more publicity. And they feel invisible. Oh, I can get away with this. I just have to make a statement to my church. I just have to tell them. And Jordan's video struck a chord with many sparking discussions across social media. The complete truth of this saga remains veiled, prompting some to cautiously contemplate the implications without the full story. Tia Jakes hasn't exactly had a pristine record, even preceding these recent allegations. And it's not like he thinks he owes everyone an apology and explanation. Denial is the favorite tactic of all these predators. You can think whatever you want to think, I don't care. I came to do my job. However, he's too big and famous to avoid the scrutiny, especially with the recent uproar involving renowned cleric T.D. Jakes and rap mogul Diddy serves as a testament to this dynamic online landscape. Jakes, a figure well-known for his religious teachings, unexpectedly seized the social media spotlight, not for his spiritual guidance, but due to purported ties with you to purported ties with the disgraced music mogul. The unexpected bond between these seemingly disparate figures sparked a deluge of speculation and conspiracy theories. While Diddy, also known as Sean Combs, has navigated controversy in the past, this recent revelation adds a fresh layer to the rapper's already contentious public image. Amidst the uproar, emerged allegations against Diddy regarding his previous relationship with former partner Cassie, including assertions of physical altercations and other sensitive claims. T.D. Jakes also catches the fumes of this fire. A fourth woman is now suing music moguls. At the crux of these astonishing claims were accounts of extravagant parties allegedly hosted by Diddy, with rumors swirling that T.D. Jakes was a frequent attendee, a revelation that further stoked the flames of speculation. With Diddy thrust into the forefront, this explosive video stormed the internet, leaving Bishop Jakes' team to mend the cracks in his crumbling reputation, saying recent claims circulating on pockets of social media about Bishop T.D. Jakes are unequivocally false and baseless. As news of his purported association with Diddy circulated, numerous fans engaged in the conversation, with some suggesting this was merely the tip of the iceberg. More concealed secrets within the ministry's operations and Jake's attendance at Diddy's gatherings may surface if the victims are coming forward. I know two of the victims which shared their story. Amid the backlash and accusations swirling on social media, the preacher appeared to address the claims during a recent stream church service on YouTube. Jakes, a motive in his response, vehemently dismissed the allegations as completely false. Apparently, he expected that his assertive preaching during his sermon will have its effect on people as he was seeking to deflect any doubts. It's clear that he doesn't want to lose his position and power, and he most certainly values his dear freedom. However, after more people come bearing evidence, his credibility is at its lowest among fans. As one person wrote on social media, the devil is the father of all lies, and these people have sold their souls for fame and or attention. And another user added, praise God, he must do the time, close down his church. Well, it seems like the disgraced preacher no longer has respect of his people, and it's time for him to come clean before his ugly secrets are exposed. But folks, what do you think about all this? What type of punishment T.D. Jakes deserves after his association with Diddy? And has this man truly fallen out of the grace of God? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to check my other videos 